What's going on guys? Marcos Mendoza here. Love this city TV. We're at Red Nightclub in Toronto, Canada, Liberty Village. And in a few minutes, we're going to go inside and we're going to interview one of the biggest EDM DJs on the planet. That's right. I'm talking about EDX. If you don't know who EDX is, well, he's worked with the likes of Hardwell, Benny Benassi, Armin Van Helden, Armin Van Buren. Who else? Bob Sinclair, Dead Mouse, maybe any of those names ring a bell? Yeah, probably. He's also got a serious XM radio show called No Excuses. So now you have no excuses. You got to know who EDX is. We're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about sports. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about everything. So it's an interview that you don't want to miss. My name is Marcos Mendoza. You're watching Love This City TV. Are you ready yet? What's going on, music lovers? This is Marcos Mendoza here for Love This City TV, and I'm at Red Night Club in Liberty Village with the legend himself next to me. He told me to call him Mauricio, but you may know him as EDX. EDX in the building. How's it going, sir? Hey, what's up? Always good to be back in town, you know. Back in Toronto. So it's been said that you have the most dynamic and magnetic personality in the EDM music scene today. How do you think that that, that response and that kind of, that kind of comment and, 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 and image has developed your EDM sound and the culture that surrounds the people that love your music? Yeah, it's always very uh, difficult to like uh, talk about other or different point of views, but I've been doing this for so many years. Uh, I've been involved in like management, I've been involved in label work, so most of the people in the industry work, know me from different angles and know the person behind EDX uh, as well, so I think it's just like the passion I bring into what I do, being blessed to be able to travel the world with music and all this together maybe appears me to be like the way they think, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious about whether or not you think that since you started so young in the industry, if 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 your contribution to the industry has helped make EDM culture so live as it is now, like it's kind of spiked in the last five years, don't you think? Yeah, especially in the U.S., uh, there is like a really big revival, uh, considering that we already went through all this back in the days in Europe, like in the early 90s, when like all these warehouse festivals, these big dance parades took uh, over, and it's now back here in the U.S., and definitely uh, considering me uh, being like a role in the European market, like in the German spoken markets like Germany, Switzerland, I was really able to contribute something to the industry. Um, I'm now like touring the US since like 2008. I've been part of festivals, of clubbing, and I've always been uh, trying to be true to my own signature sound. I was like, never like jumping uh, onto a train, trying to do what the market is asking for. And considering all this, definitely uh, uh, brings me in a position these days where I can consider myself been definitely a role in the market yeah you've gotten to experience what the EDM culture is really all about and I think that that's that's one of the things that fascinated me most about doing my research on everything that you've accomplished to date so I'm curious about the feelings because you just you dabbled into it a little bit by mentioning how you saw it rise how do you think that the feeling of every culture resonates with how EDM is growing it's different in Europe it's different in Canada it's different in America what do you think stands out the strongest which continent is holding it down as the most powerful EDM culture well like it's definitely a blessing to be able to work with different big artists I've been doing this since now over 17 years my first remix is like for artists as like um, cool and the gang Armand van Helden uh, used to be like back in the days and it was just just like a more soulful housey uh, world back then which I still think is like spinning in back now it's getting more cozy again and um, just like to bring it down to the culture and to the markets, I, I think now that like US definitely is giving like a new impact as well to the European or like Australian territories with like this big EDM kind of revival thing with the warehouse like get together or like not just the music genre as well like the culture which they call EDM um, these days. Um, like Central Europe, like countries like Holland have been always there, have been always on the pole position when it comes like to festival and like talented artists. But there is also market like Italy which have another angle, another approach to electronic music where they're like more housey, more sexy, like deeper. It's different culture, different weather, different people. And but there is also like um, approaches which you need to look at from South America. There is like Australia, Asia. 
there's so many people that love this kind of uh, lifestyle and music. So now, is there anything that we can expect that people, anything that the people should know about what's coming up, any big shows, any collaborations? Well, I'm working constantly on music. I've been in the studio, I have a LA-based studio as well, uh, working this year on like a couple of new tracks, which I will be like finishing up for summer. So it's a brand new single, it's called One Chew. It's releasing uh, this month. What is it? Uh, the track's called One Chew. One Chew. And it's re releasing this month on Head Candy Records, part of Ministry of Sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, already getting a lot of love and support from all my DJ friends all over the world. Pete Tong premiered it a couple of weeks ago. Um, like kind of a more uplifting kind of deep house EDX signature sound blend. Uh, really looking forward to see what's going to happen. I'm here with Mauricio, a.k.a. EDX. We're at Red Night Club at Liberty Village. You just heard some of the most in-depth information that the man himself gave you on the culture, on what you can expect from his music coming up, and he's about to go smash a set. My name is Marcos Mendoza, and we're here at Red Night Club, courtesy of Love This City TV. Thank you very much, sir. Un placere. Anche mio. <laughs> Cheers, guys.